Ugly bitch in here, nigga. What you talking ladies about? Ladies first, cuz. Ladies you first. This is ladies here. first. I'm just saying. You, you guys wanted to. Not, 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 the other lady. I know what he, you're talking about, but I'm just going to take this opportunity to say if you guys are somebody ass where you can buy tickets, go ahead and click that link at the top. That's our, that's Sleepless in LA's official fis, uh, affiliate link. If you buy a ticket, purchase it from that link above, y'all. Hey, fellas. Uh, so ring girls. I'm looking for ring girls. If y'all want to be a ring girl, jump in my DM. Um, y'all also, if y'all artists, jump in my DM. I mean, I wanna... You ain't got no bitches, bro. Like, uh, he worried about, <laughs> <laughs> he worry about, he, he worry about my no bitches. Bitch listen, Nina, you trying to get at the ring girls? Hey, what? Hey, me, Nina. Listen, let, let oh, me do my job. Season. Let me hey, do Nina. my job. This is it. <laughs> Hold on, I'm looking for ring girls. I'm looking for artists. Um, I'm looking for um uh, sponsors and ours that. Look, bottom line is this, man. I'm doing a lot of shit behind the scenes. Fuck what he talking about. <laughs> Look, I showed up to my office early to handle business. Um, you said my office with the toilet. It's in the bathroom. Hey, nigga, can show y'all cameras. I can show y'all cameras, bro. Yeah, listen, right. I, have, yeah. listen, I have a legitimate office where I conduct business every day, my nigga. Every day. Yeah. I pay a lot of rent for this motherfucker. I handle business. Hey, bro. Like, hey, what's the deal, Rocky? Hey, on Nina Boy. Let me say something. I just looked at Bosco's deal. He, 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 listed, he listed his occupation on his agreement. It says he's an Inglewood gang member. That's what his occupation says. A <laughs> bum. My nigga's a loser. <laughs> oh, y'all got both of these Bosco, niggas in here. Why are you so much attention to a loser? Why are you so focused? Hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, hey, hey. You got no. Hey, who just kicked Tay? Hey, don't kick Tay. Hey, my nigga. Hey, that nigga. Hey, Bosco, who you gang banging on? Because you don't come outside. You don't come outside. You ain't you putting in no I work. Do. You don't You're not a game banger, my nigga. You're not I'm a game banger. banger. What are you talking about? I've, t I've said it multiple amounts How's of times. How's that your occupation, my nigga? I've How's that your occupation? I said an Inglewood gang member. Yeah, Inglewood gang member, and he showed up okay, with a Okay, but where's the revenue from that, though? Where's the revenue, why, why my nigga? Why are you worried about my revenue, bitch? Because you, you a broke you. nigga, cuz, and know, I'm shit all over you, bitch ass. Because I can't, because you, 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 you a broke why nigga. And I'm going to show the world, like, my nigga, that I'm the better man than you, nigga. June 26th, the world going to see Nina Boy really about that. You not like that. I know personally that you not like that. You lying on the gram, nigga. Where the proof at? You, you, you lying the on the, where the proof at, my nigga? Hey. Where the proof at, cuz? Cuz you not popping in real I life, bro. I it the other day. Yeah. You see how you swung. Hell, like nigga, you duck like a little bitch, nigga. That nigga duck. He said, oh, blood. He tried to take off on me. Oh, bitch, that's your mark ass. I'll fire your shit up in real life, nigga. Dead homies, cuz. Nigga, I knocked the people juice out that nose, nigga. Dead homies, God. Bosco, I will fire your shit up. Hey, check this out. That's on everything I love. I will fire your shit up. If y'all niggas, if y'all niggas fight the whole eight rounds, fuck well, y'all niggas this off, cause y'all been talking a lot of shit. Nick is so fuck you talking to. <laughs> It ain't gonna be no eight rounds, bro. I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna knock this shit out of Bosco and I'm gonna show y'all niggas what I'm talking about. Nigga, nobody fuck with Bosco. That's why nobody support Bosco, nigga. Dead homies, nigga. Oh, oh he's outdated. You support Bosco, nigga. I, you I have outdated. a question. My nigga, Bosco, you outdated. Your career is outdated. Hold on, y'all. Bosco, you need a boy. Bosco, hold on, y'all. Go ahead, nigga. I, I wanna know, because I was like swivel head on the, on the stage. How many people think Bosco brought more fans than Nina Boy? I wasn't paying attention. Definitely. Wait, but, but wait, 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 you, you didn't tell, no, no, this, 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 this is a sleepless, this is a sleepless, or whoever else from the media was there, who do you guys no. feel had more, had more fans or come to the event, who, who had more supporters? I thought that Nina Boy came with more people. Yeah, but at the end of the I'm, day, I'm boss, we're going to Lex, more Lex, how many people you think was in the room? Does, does anyone know how many people was actually, did anyone take a head count? I'm just curious. Nah. I didn't, but I, sh I still think, I mean, I, I feel like that nigga showed up. He had, what, the two security guards with him. But other than that, he didn't show up with nobody. I'm going to say uh, Nina Boy as well, because one of the one of the chicks was ready to get out with me because I said some shit. Oh, <laughs> that is. I'm going to say Nina Boy. I think that was that was old girl that be with Bosco, uh, how many people asked you to take pictures? Because I saw a bunch of pictures of you on the internet. A lot. A lot. How many? Give us a number. 
Oh shit, I don't count, bro. This it's all normal for me. Bro. Oh, you welcome, you bitch ass shit. nigga. You welcome. It's all normal. You welcome. I'm welcome, bro. It's happening you welcome. to me every day. You welcome. Cause I'm not a biased nigga. I'm not a biased nigga. Cause what like you're talking you know, about like, you're, you're a nobody nigga. Bro. Hey, I've hey, been doing this shit. Prove that. Prove that. How long, prove prove it, how long shit, is the bro. Prove? What are you talking about? Go look Nina boy, how many pictures did you take? I'm just curious. Uh I I took a lot of pictures, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Do you do you do you think do you think it was more pictures? Do you think the Bosco contributed to 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 more? More pictures than ever. Would you consider the? Would you give him any credit for that? Well, I took the pictures first, and then they went over there to Bosco. Because remember, he okay. ran. From right. He I ran. He ran off stage and left. Remember, so that I took the pictures first. But oh, at the end really? of the day, Who I'm a businessman. I don't care man. about like, that bro, shit, bro. Everything you say is ignorant, bro. I'm not gonna spell ignorant. Bosco, level. spell ignorant. Spell no it. Bosco, spell You're ignorant, please. Ignorant spell it. Spell it. Bro, what you hey, doing? nigga, for real though. Hey, Nina. So you was just talking about how y'all both got ownership in the fighting in the event. So why are you kind of like complaining about promoting it, bro? Because don't that just come back to your pockets? I mean, I, at the end of the day, listen, I have I have more to gain and nothing to lose, bro, for sure. But at the end of the day, I'm really just trying to push, penetrate this shit on his head. Why like, you how got you more both... to gain? Why you got more listen, to gain? Listen, listen, man. Let, all right, like, grown men are talking, bro. Talking, bro. Grown men are talking bro, right here. So bitch ass back and listen to grown men talk. talk. All right, from a, from a business standpoint. I'm a bum, so what do you got to gain, bitch ass man, nigga? Like, yeah, you know I'm everything you want to be, you bitch ass nigga. Shut up. You just wanted your name and my name mentioned in the same sentence, you bitch ass nigga. You yeah, know I'm the man boy. Blood. I feel it, cuz. I feel it. Yeah, what you say though on the business side? What you say? No, I'm just saying this since you promote the shit, don't, yeah. don't the revenue come back talking, to you. Shut the fuck up, Bosco. Damn. Shut your bitch ass up, bro. You a mark. That's why I'm going to slap it. Hey, Nina, boy, I have a question for you. Nina, boy, I have a question for you. So, when you threw that punch, what was you aiming at? <laughs> Y'all gotta look at the angle, bro. I wasn't too far, bro. The security was real, real tight. Oh, nigga, you were aiming at Jesus. I, I, I seen, look, I seen an opportunity because he keep talking. Jesus, man, look, I seen an opportunity. Jesus, you know what I'm saying? All it was was this, my nigga. I knew if I could get them to turn their head and just crack that nigga chin, he'll feel what kind that of you pressure. you get yourself knocked out. Uh, That's it. Yeah, All right, right so this is what I'm gonna do. All you do is get beat up on the internet, Bosco. Who have you really won, bro? All you do is get beat up on the internet. From a different internet. angle, so y'all talking about all real angles. Right? You gotta all see it from all angles, cause at the end of the day, hey, every man, look, angle you look like hey, look, a bitch. this this is like all business. So every everybody look like a bitch. At every everybody's angle. opinion is well. Security uh, carried your bitch ass off like a baby. Everybody a opinion. Lie, bro, carried you that's up, put it on I tell hey, hey, look, that's it. Look, everybody's opinion. I welcome everybody. Everybody's opinion is welcome to me. I don't give a fuck because it's a business. Listen, 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 I take the good, listen, I take the good listen, with the bad. Listen, let, let, let us listen to how old you are. How old are you, blood? Tell it the tape, blood. How old are you, bitch? Say that, nigga. You have failed to answer that question yet. How old are you? you can't be too much older than you. Next man. question. Next how question. Old are you? How old? Right, answer. All right, so look, let's get back to the business side, right? You like a bitch. Never ask a woman her age ass <laughs> nigga, bro. You a bitch. I'm just not talking about an idiot, lady. bro. You a you an idiot, bro. Like, you, ask you cannot spell your, your, your pronunciation is horrible. Your grammar is horrible, my nigga. You didn't even graduate from high school, bro. Two years old, bro. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. You older than me, nigga. Yeah, that nigga's crazy. That nigga's a bitch, bro. Hey, man, how long? How long is the how long? How long is the rounds gonna be? Man, it's man. I want three minutes. He asked but, for two. But, but both fighters are still negotiating, and it's fluid. It's a fluid situation. Well, this is not even y'all got so, to be going. All right, so look. Right, I'm gonna say how. I mean, this, 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 this is what I'm gonna say. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm 37 hang on. years old, man. Hang on. This is what I'm gonna say. To be honest with you, every time I talk to Nina Boy about this, I mean, not not, not Nina Boy Bosco, he continues to tell me. It doesn't matter. This nigga's not gonna make it past one or two rounds. Like this nigga is. That's his answer to everything. I only need one round. As soon, I'm gonna knock this nigga out as soon as we get that's in the not ring. About so. to happen. <laughs> hey, so with, so because I, you know, I, 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 I listen, man. Man, I just want to know because, like, I don't want to see niggas run out of gas. Like niggas smoke a lot of weed. Niggas be chilling, eating a lot and shit. You know, I want to see niggas really, you know, go the distance. So like y'all niggas choose uh -huh. that choose the minutes. Make sure y'all choose the minutes y'all can maintain, nigga. Cause any already no, bro. All we need is three two minute round. This nigga, this nigga feel like he need more round. You need hey, stop more, cutting bro. my mic off, homie. Hey, look, you know hey, you, you know you you gotta turn off your Bluetooth or something. You got a loud background. That ain't me. 
Hey, look. I don't want the message to be misconstrued either. While all hey, Lex, you, know, you got to change your background. It. You have hella background on, uh, on your Well, device. we can hear him now. Just go ahead. Yeah, I don't want the message to be misconstrued. You know what I'm saying? The, hey, hey, the, the whole purpose of this, or the whole purpose of this uh, event is, uh, you know, saying gloves up, guns down. You know what I'm saying? So I hear, I know, I know, I know niggas going back and forth and doing, doing, you know what I'm saying? Got animosity and, and all that. But what I'm saying is that we need to keep the gun violence, all that, all that talking about who gonna get shot and all that other type of shit at our event. That's not happening. I can right. tell you that's not happening right now. You know what I'm saying? So all that, so all that, so all that, so all, what, what, what I'm saying, this, this is what I'm saying. We can kill all that right now. You feel me? Anybody, all that, all that gun violence. Anybody, anybody thinking about gun violence? That's that's out. Who that's knows, out. Who said that? You feel me? If it, if, look, 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 look. If, if, if a nigga bring somebody that happen to be associated with your side, that's out. That's right. out. This hey, is business. Okay. If you don't understand, if you don't understand, if you don't understand the business aspect of this shit, then you need to move on. Keep your ass on the street. That's my perspective. You feel me? Because right. it's the opportunity for niggas to really get a bag and settle their issues in a proper manner. But if niggas can't do that and niggas got ulterior motives, then you don't need to be on this motherfucking stage. I heard Get off the motherfucking stage. Oh, I heard I said something in the heat of the moment. That's though, not dude. what I've been. Hold on, let me say this because I take ownership in what I say. I Bro. said that out of testosterone. That's not the motive that I'm pushing, not the narrative, because y'all see how much I promote it. We got too much in the heat from the street side of it because I try to stay focused. But at the end of the day, yeah, that was something that I'm retracting because that's not the narrative. That's not cool. I do motivate against that. So, yeah, I'm retracting that. You don't motivate shit. against shit. Fuck you talking Man, about. Hold on. You set your bitch ass up. This you is serious, my nigga. This is serious. Yeah, fight serious. Bro, ain't nothing you do set motivate your bitch no ass you, up, bro. My nigga. At you, the you, end you, of the day, it's about gloves up, guns. It's not about the guns. It's about the gun violence. Man, this bitch ass. All right. Boy. Nah, because I'm a real man. I no, you're not my a real shit. man. If y'all watch my real shit, real bro, man. I can't stand a young nigga picking up a fucking gun instead of getting down, bro. That's not the net. That's not cool. Because if we kill the youth, we have no fucking future. And that's why I'm retracting that bro, as a man. Still pushing this gang banging shit. Yeah, All right. Hey, you listen. I come back to like bitch ass nigga at home. Because look. Now, I'm taking time out of my busy day to so get on this motherfucker. Like, I'm a bitch. All right, I'll, I'll come back later, bro. I'll come back later. Because this nigga's a bitch. Well, you's a bitch, bro. You ain't no fucking bitch. Man. Nigga, I'm hey, trying to go. Like, well, there bro, it is. This nigga try to copy everything he see me say, bro. That nigga, I swear to God, this nigga studies my every fucking move, bro. This nigga fucking like, I swear to God, bro. Hey, ba ba Bosco. Yeah, yeah. I, let me apologize. I don't know what the hell happened to Lex the plug, but he he wasn't playing that shit this morning, man. Shit, you know. <laughs> shout out to the promoter, man. Okay. <laughs> he said that. Shit. No, we just can't lose focus on the message. That's my whole thing. We just can't lose focus on the message because that's not gonna sell tickets. If people perceive that it's gonna be some violence taking place outside of what's going on in the ring in the facility, the ticket sales is over. That's how I perceive it. You understand what I'm saying? Our job is to provide safety and security when people come into the venue. You feel me? To see y'all get in. And Period. That and I'm not going to change. Yeah, I'm not, and I'm not going to change that. We're not going to change record, that. For the record, that's why I showed up by myself. Just because y'all already knew I was going to be good as far as security. Yeah. I didn't need. Bosco to was very respectful. I said, "Hey, man, you mm -hmm. can't show up with twenty niggas like you did the last time with everybody who. showing the blammer. We can't do that this time. I'm gonna have security." And we got to show face to the ownership, and you did a very professional job. Thank you. Uh, I apologize for um, this guy walking on your side when it happened. You know, I came up to you. I asked you what happened. I went up to him. I said, I told you, don't walk on the side. You was out of line. And, you know, he you know, he apologized. I, I think that uh, he just had a lot of alcohol in him. When, when I went, just, to, just, just, just so you know, when I went up to him, he demanded that I go get him a double shot of Hennessy, nigga. You know that was his response to me. But you can't handle your liquor, boy. Hey, you don't know how to hey, handle it. I remember when I had my first drink. You you gonna you hey. gonna have a different tactic than you played with Gonzo, bro? Because you didn't really throw no hands like that with Gonzo. I mean, everything got changed at the last minute with Gonzo. We had a lot of a lot of last minute unexpected things that came into clause at the end. So I wasn't ready for that. We weren't ready for headgear. I wasn't ready for none of the like extra shit. I wasn't ready for them heavy ass gloves. Like, you know what I mean? It was just a lot of you shit. You feel like you're in better shape this time? 
Oh, y'all know I'm in better shape. That's one thing. I'm in better shape. I'm just saying on hey Damu, I, I can't I, I ain't gonna lie, I thought Nina was gonna get at you, but you're gonna have to squabble blood. I just well, I get tired of niggas saying that. Like I ain't been squabbling niggas my whole life. No, but it's a boxing you match. Haven't you seen me have no in the streets. I haven't seen what I'm saying. Niggas haven't seen no squabble. You seen my first time stepping in the boxing ring, and all right, bro, you expecting me to go in there looking like Mike Tyson in my first time after a few weeks of training, bro? It don't work like I that, bro. You done, you done been to the pen and shit, so I expect you to have you know, a little more squabble. Street. Yeah, I got a street squabble, but stepping in that ring is a different that's, thing. That's what I was saying, my nigga. And being set up by a big ass nigga that's punching everybody out anyway, that's a different thing. So yeah. don't try to judge yeah, my whole that. life. You know what I mean? Niggas try to judge my whole life and my whole squabble. We seen you squabble. You didn't. You seen me get set up one time in a fucked up situation. And you seen me step in the ring to have a the first time in life. Come on, bro. You can't judge. Oh, life off of that. Nigga, I'm about to be 40, 40 years old this year. I did not make it through these years with no record to get beat up, bro. None of that shit came about until I started getting, you know what I mean, the notoriety that I started earning, bro. That's it. It's always these haters. You don't hear no real street niggas saying that shit. It's only internet niggas, bro. Real, any nigga that really know me know what's happening, bro. I ain't never been no slouch. I'm not saying that I'm just no Mike Thompson. I didn't knock everybody out, but I didn't make it through this this life nigga not having no squabble like come on bro nah i feel you bro i feel you hey my nigga hey skull this gov nigga what up oh what up gov shit hey so let me ask you this nigga like between this this situation and and the shit with guns though what you think different like all the way around from talking about from the promotion of it to to everything what's what's the difference in that fight in this one the difference the difference for one is it's just the hood is more pre not the hood i want to say just like the culture is real more personally involved with this one like it was promoted by trailer on that side and like we didn't do no promotion like you know we talked our little shit but it was like everything was it was just different like they had their own commercials or whatever was going on and for two we wasn't the headliner of that event. That was actually Jake Paul fight if we got in on the undercourt, thanks to Snoop Dogg. But, okay. You know what I mean? This time, it's more personal. This time, it's, you know what I mean? This is me really sitting on the phone motors and, and really going over and making decisions this fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. This shit, this shit just seemed different, though. It just seemed like it's more of a you know, with, with you and Gonzo, y'all niggas ended up coming to a medium. You know what I'm saying? Even after the fight, y'all niggas got cool and shit. With yeah, this man. one, it just, you know, it seemed like with this one, it's more of a nigga, yeah, ah, we, we got some, we got a score to settle, nigga. Like, this really got to go down. Yeah, and you know why? That, it's the, it's the, see, the thing about me and Gonzo, we was really going, our back and forth was a more comical, it was a more comical basis. This nigga trying to make this personal, like he making it personal, like he really know me. It's so just bunch of everything he talks about is like personal bullshit. He thinks or thinks he it's nothing like you have no real gripe, my nigga. I don't know you. You pick me out. You just nigga shot the shot the dice and pick Bosco out of lineup, nigga, to stalk on the internet one day, nigga. Hey, school, and that's hard. Hey, school, still. hey, do the do the Ingles in the East Coast get along? I mean, we what just, nigga? Niggas way on the east side, bro. Like, we don't, well, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, I got niggas. I'm from I got Denver, niggas, so I don't know. Personally, me personally, I got niggas from everywhere, bro. I got niggas from the East Coast. I done fucked with the East Coast. Like, that's what I'm saying. This is not a gang thing. So I, I want niggas to take the narrative. That ain't got nothing to do with this. It ain't got nothing to do with no gangs. It ain't got nothing to do with blood versus crit. This is a blogger stalker finally getting a chance to meet the nigga he always wanted to meet. But blood gonna whoop that nigga ass. Hey Bosco, I got a question for. Hey, yeah, what's the deal? What's your what's your fight strategy? Knock this nigga the fuck out. So you going all you going all haymakers? I ain't gonna say all haymakers, but I want to knock this nigga out. Dude. What round you seeing a knockout? Two. You said second. Two. How many rounds y'all got? Probably five. I said five. I really said three. I said three. This nigga, I saw 
said five rounds. Let's go five rounds. I said, all right, five rounds. And it, it's two minutes each round. I said five rounds. The nigga said, no, let's go eight rounds. Hey, bro, like, look at, like, he's just all over the place, bro. The nigga's a fucking diva little bitch nigga, bro. Hey, so look, in the occasion that you got to go, let's say it's, for example, it's five two-minute rounds, and he make it to the fourth round. You still going for that knockout? Bro, I'm going for a knockout the whole fight. Like, that's my goal. I keep telling y'all, I want to knock this nigga through the ropes. My goal is to see that nigga fly out the ring. So that's what I'm working for. Got you, got you. So you try to jazzy Jeff him out the ring? Yeah. So you yeah. doing hella core <laughs> and then Tommy, that's your knockout. Yeah, Martin, Martin Lawrence versus Tommy Hearns. I don't want to fight no more, Jimmy. Go, you doing core exercises, my nigga? You said who? You doing hella core exercises, leg lifts, sit up, shit like that? Well, other necessary things that it takes to prepare for a fight is being done. Yeah, that's your knockout power right there, the core. You feel me? Core in the leg. Bosco, did you look at the Canelo fight by any chance to study the skills? Yeah. I hate that he, he lost, but he tried to he tried to jump up a weight class fight when he wasn't ready yet. You know what I mean? He, they, well, he would, 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 would you take anything from this fight with you being a taller fighter with reach, very similar to Dimitri, who we lost to in terms of strategy and jabs? I mean, move and getting out of there. Yeah, of course you got to use your reach advantage. Like always, as a fight, you got to control. You got to control the fight. Like you know what I mean? You got to control. Like the 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 intensity of whether it's a. You know what I mean? You only. Oh, that. That's why it always got to, oh, got to do with your physical conditioning. Either you're going to be a defensive fighter or you're going to be attacking. You know what I mean? So it's just all based on your fucking, you know what I mean? What you can do physically, nigga. That's why you got to work hard for how you want to fight, nigga. However hard you want to fight, that's how hard you got to work. Yeah. If you want to get in there with some Tyson puncher power, you got to get out there and work. You know what I mean? You got to put. It might go out. No, I had got a phone call. Y'all hear me? Yeah, now we can. Hey, <clears throat> hey, real quick, I want to uh, let everybody know that if y'all go ahead and click on that link up top uh, that I just posted, this is another angle from where um, Nina Boy tried to um, tried to fire Bosco shit up. Bosco wasn't having it. Um, you can tell in the attempt that it wasn't it wasn't close to landing. So if y'all go check that out. Make sure y'all, if y'all share, make sure y'all hashtag that sleepless in there. It wasn't even close to landing. It wasn't even close to having no power behind it. Even if it would have landed, that shit would have had no power behind it, bro. That shit was like a girls on world, <laughs> girls going wild fight or some shit. Nigga, you swung like a straight hoe. Boss going rocky. I got to ask y'all a question. Do you think that shit was a publicity stunt by this guy? I know it was, bro. I Why mean, was it, it I wasn't even. I if I didn't hear, if I didn't hear everything right. that was going on before it, right? If I didn't hear everything that was going on before it, then I would have thought that. But like I said earlier, and I told everybody this from the jump, the whole time these niggas walked past each other, the whole time, it was niggas were saying little little shit to each other, you feel me? And and I figured it was gonna get like that if 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 niggas wasn't around. So he okay, might have been thinking it like that since he's saying that he the main promoter and he this and that and, and he running all of that part. That might have been something on his end that he had in his head. But if he was really trying to hit that nigga, that was not the swing for trying to hit a nigga for sure. Okay, yeah, uh, look, man, look, man, look. maybe let me, let me rephrase the question. Is some, anybody swinging through security a publicity stuff? Hell yes, bro. Like, you know that security's job is to not... Bro, it, the understanding as a fighter when you come to shit like that... The security job is to make sure the safety of the fighters, honestly. Like, you know what I mean? They're they're there to not fuck up the bag. You don't want to fuck up a venue. It's like it's certain things and certain rules that you have to follow, bro. So that's why those securities are there to enforce those rules. Everybody and, know that though, if they try to fire off in front of the police or security, somebody gonna <laughs> break it up. They, you, you know somebody gonna break it up and they're gonna grab you, nigga. So you know. That they were not gonna let nothing happen to you, bro. You already felt that. That was a scene for a viral moment, bro. You just know anything 
you come on, bro. You know, you niggas know Bosco when man, he's I ain't, coming. It's, hey, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. I just seen a lot of motherfucking press conferences. If a nigga wanted to connect, he'd have connected it. You would have like, connected, it, bro. Yeah, if you really want to connect, you will connect. Ain't no missing no connection. Not when you got an opportunity. I just seen a lot of press conferences go left. Well, <laughs> you if you, you click that link, why would you wait? We don't want that punch I, was slow as Nah, but they walk. This is the thing. The Look, whole time though. So like, if you, Look, I'm gonna make this one point shit. exactly. We walk past each other closely. Where was it? It was a lot of points. Where there was no security right there. You never swung, nigga. You just kept walking by me, looking, saying shit, but you never swung. No, I was never tripping like that. Also, all that aggressive ass energy. I was the, the only reason why we was having back and forth because every time I move, he's making sure he got to find a way to walk past me or get. Oh yeah, me. Bosco did say. Bosco did say blood. I don't know what's wrong with blood. He just keep on trying to smell me for some reason. He keep walking yeah. past me trying to you smell. You keep me. getting close to me, nigga. Why? I'm, I'm on my side. They cut. When I came in, they said that's his side over there. This your side. I said cool. I stayed on my side. Only thing I did was walk to the bar and grab a henny. That's it. He made it a point to try to get close to me every chance he could. He All I did was take you. Uh, yeah, that's what he was trying to do. Nick well, was trying to get right, well, 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 in his defense, angle, from the angle in, in his defense, else, kept... from the angle, from the new angle from the fight, I want to know what y'all think, or from the the attempt, I want to know what y'all think he was really trying to do. I want to know what everybody on stage think that he was trying to do. Do y'all think that he was really trying to hit that nigga based off of the angle that we just posted on Sleepers in LA, the link up top? Do y'all think he was really trying to hit Bosco? And how slow he, uh, how slow he throwing that punch, and how far it came back. Nigga, I think he was just swinging that cast. <laughs> yeah, he was just swinging. I wasn't trying to hit nothing. I was. I thought he was trying to hit the go. Bro, that nigga, it wouldn't have had no power, bro. You swung like a straight, bro. The only thing you would have did if them security wasn't standing there, I swear to God, if you just pay attention to the way I count, nigga, I slapped that shit down. Nigga, I was coming right back with that right. Nigga, I was coming back. Bro, that right was finna send you, bro. I blocked it with the left, and that right was coming, but the security nah, grabbed it. The thing he is, the crazy. thing is, though, is that he had more security in front of him. So if you had to try to get Not him, never. Like him, you wouldn't have been able to. He's crazy, bro. Is you watching that shit, bro? The security grabbed it. What are you talking no, about? That's what I'm saying. They had there was more security surrounding him than there was you. So he could have easily been able to get you compared to you getting. It. Nigga, I had big ass security behind me. Nigga, that nigga was huge. Nigga, that nigga was like eight feet tall. Nigga, he wasn't I touching you. I wouldn't even worry. He wasn't finna touch me. I wasn't tripping off of touching him. Like, they I wasn't was worried him. about you popping back. They should have been worried. I mean, they shouldn't have been. I wasn't tripping, man. I wasn't tripping. I'm a businessman. I came for what I came for. But what ain't a nigga gonna touch me? Oh God, ever be a nigga take an attempt at me or nothing? And no, nothing happened. God. That's what I was asking of um, eleven. Uh, so if they would have fought or if the niggas would have touched hands, that shit fucked up the contract or they could Nigga, still fuck. I was outside talking to the management when the whole shit went down. And all I heard was screams, oh, oh, it's a fight. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I look at my phone and the GM from the shit was upstairs looking at it on the cameras and sent me a very stern text message saying, please, I thought I told you no fucking fighting here. So nothing you know, i haven't heard anything yet we went toward the, the the main venue saturday night so i think we're good you know we 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 they're watching anything that happens on the internet so anything that's gonna like promote gang shit or gun shit you know they're, they're being very sensitive about so right now we're good exactly he doesn't understand that he just wants to be super gang on any, any other fights that's gonna be a part of it um uh, yes. Yeah. So uh, today, um, in one hour, I'm going to have a meeting. Um, we're probably going to look at three to four undercards. Um, these are amateur and pro fighters. This is going to be kind of in a winner's take all type purse. So um, I'm working with uh, Mayweather Boxing Fitness and a couple of local gyms to do some matchmaking. Um, and we're going to use a combination of the trainers at these gyms to either be the fighters or trainers or judges for these fights. And um, we're also um, still working on potentially another celebrity fight, but we um, 
we don't have anything, you know, we're not close to signing anything. I, I'm more close to, by Thursday, I should have three to four amateur fighters and, you know, maybe, you know, six that we got to pick three fights from. Um, I'm meeting today with uh, Crip Max Manager 600 about him co-promoting someone on the card. So, yeah, it, it's a very fluid right now. Hey, wait, hey, wait, 11, 11, just for the record, just for the record. This nigga keep talking about my homies don't support me. How many homies did you see me come with to our first year? Like, too too many niggas. Come on, bro. And I said, like, you know, I, so I, so I, no so, so no bullshit. On, I bro. called no no bullshit. I called this nigga randomly. I didn't give him the time. I just called him when we was kind of ready. And I was like, hey, what time can you come? He was like, ah, oh, pull. Up. He, I just sent him the address. And no bullshit, this nigga showed up with like eight cars filling the whole alley. Every car had four four people in there. It was, so it was probably 20 to 25 niggas. And three of them just wanted everybody to know they had it on them. Yeah. Wow. So? Those are some yeah, real so. goons. If, 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 if you look up the, in the encyclopedia or Google goons, they look like the niggas that you had. I ain't gonna, I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. It's sad though, but I'm saying I wasn't on that though. Like I wasn't on that. I just said that to say this nigga talk always talk about my homies. Don't I don't be with my homies. I don't be in my hood. Like what are you talking about, bro? Like, you just be talking like that shit just is annoying, bro. I don't care how many niggas you can. Don't, like, like, don't blood live in Clark County, Nevada. Nigga live in fucking fucking Vegas, bro. You gotta mind your business. Vegas. Nigga in Vegas. What's wrong with living in Vegas? No, no, nothing. Yeah, he nothing. He keep, wait, why do you keep Cali's saying Cali's I don't live in my Cali's hood? Cali's why do you keep saying I don't live in my hood? You don't live in your hood, nigga. What the fuck does it matter if I live in my hood or not? Like it don't matter. I still go to my hood. I'm still living here. You're supposed to move out, out of my hood. hood. Yeah, the goal is to get out the hood, nigga. What the fuck are you keep talking about? Yeah, you, you don't even be, you don't live in your hood. So what? You don't live in yours, nigga. You don't even live in your fucking state. Especially if you don't own nothing over there. All right, so so Bosco, look look looking at uh this footage posted up top on this link, and you see how slow he th throw this punch. He threw this punch. I seen it in person. I was here, like bro. I'm telling you, that nigga would have went to sleep, bro. The, Security say more of a strategy nigga. on how you're gonna fight him. Like, are are you gonna work that jab and and try to be him bro. with jabs? Are you gonna let him tire himself out, or do you have a strategy going into? I'm a bro. I'm gonna fight that nigga how he come, bro. If he come aggressive, I'm gonna fight that nigga aggressive. If he want to make it a, a fucking, uh, if he want to make it an endurance fight, I'm gonna go to endurance. I'm gonna go the distance with him. You know what I mean? I'm a. I, you gotta like, you gotta keep up with his pace. Bro. However, he trying to fight, that's how we gonna fight. Be ready for whatever as a fighter. Right, niggas. You need to be physically prepared for whatever happens in there. So some he might be the distance fighter and wanna, you know what I mean, just dance around the whole time. So you know I'm a, you know, you can fight his game. But nigga, honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I don't fight like that. I ain't with that distance fight. I'm trying to get it over it quick, bro. Hard and fast, nigga. Pause. Yeah, you got to set the tone. You make the pace. You feel me? That's it. So would you be what? opposed to if if Nita Boyd agreed to it to switching this to an MMA fight? I've been saying that's what I wanted from the beginning. That's what I really want. I don't want that yet. That's what I prefer. Honestly, I prefer it be that that's how I really fight. <laughs> I'm saying boxer boxing is cool, but I really fight MMA style. Like, you know what I mean? That's how I like I like to throw elbows and knees and all this shit, bro. I fight like that. So I really prefer that this boxing thing is just challenging myself. You know what I mean? I'm challenging the fucking nigga boxing. I'm a boxer. But really, technically, like, nigga, I've always been fighting the MMA stuff. So since y'all got the uh, rematch clause, if you lose, you're going to call him out for the rematch? It's man, though. Like, of course. Yeah, but you know I'm over my rematch. You can't, I'm taking you can't no let blood beat you, dog. I, I, he's not. But I'm just saying, he just, just for the question's sake, he asked the question, like, of course, rematch ASAP, dude. Nigga, I want the reset, and the and it got to be within 60 days, nigga. But then, I want the rematch but what about, if, so, what about if so, you win, if you win, what, what is it going to take for you to accept it? What, the rematch? Like, 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 yeah, like, yeah, so if you win, considering everything that you've already gone through, why would you want to 
go through this, you know, why would you want to continue to give him the clout button? After because, the, because y'all got some more money for it, nigga. <laughs> so free money, free money, nigga. It's picking up, picking free money, up. nigga. It's another payday. Yeah, and then that. on top of that, if a nigga, if y'all get the fair one, and then one of y'all lose, nigga, and then they call you out for another fair one. I mean, even though it's business, I mean that's just what it is. Like nigga calling you out for another one, you got to get it. Yeah, bro. You know what I mean? Run back. Nigga. I'm gonna give it. I'm with it. I'm giving it. I I already feel like I'm gonna whoop a nigga the first time, so I'm not worried about losing. That's whoop what I'm whoop him bad enough, he ain't gonna fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying that's if, that's if I were, if, word, if, if, chances, if chances be, if I were, to tell him again, little Rocky. He better put off an Inglewood nigga, and I'm. Man, come on, man. Is there anyone who's called you out since the press conference yesterday? Uh, not that I paid attention to. I ain't seen like I. Ain't, I know Milk keep running his fucking mouth. Trying that to nigga's his, not finna fight he, you, bro. Yeah, he, he's not. But he, you hear him keep running his mouth, and he been making videos and saying little bullshit, trying to get some attention. But that nigga's a bitch. I've been begging for him to accept a squabble with somebody. That nigga's a bitch, bro. That nigga sitting on his balcony downtown, nigga. That only thing that nigga. Now, Dude, I know you got a clubhouse. I said, I don't know. I don't fuck with that nigga. He did at one point. Them niggas ran his ass up out of here. They ran him off. Huh? That's what I heard. That nigga's a buster, bro. I don't know you, I, and nigga, I know it's liquor store. You, you said, all right, nigga, I catch your ass at that liquor store, nigga, buying them fucking Paul Malls, bitch. Fuck you, talking. Hey, about you, that. you think y'all run up a bag if you uh fuck with uh C Mac? I know y'all said y'all had talked about it a little bit, but if you want, to yeah, see yeah, that, yeah. That's really the fight a lot of people want to see, bro. A lot of not like give a fuck about the fucking Nina boy. People just want to see Bosco. That's a bigger bag for sure. I give a fuck about you. Fight, correct, man. Shut up, you do. That's why you here, bitch. <laughs> That's why you here, bitch. Why would you be hey. here? <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Bosco. Yeah. Good. Huh? <laughs> My bad, I apologize, man. Damn, Erica, don't, 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 don't she keep saying little Erica shit, though. Damn. You hear her keep saying little shit, though. She keep saying little shit, you know, bro. You made me trip on Nina, boy. Don't make me trip on Bosco, too. Don't whisper to that nigga blood. Why, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just playing, Erica. I'm just fucking with you. you know, I love you, baby. Um, oh, gosh. Hey, Bosco, what you think about Erica and that red paisley, though, on Erica? She was amazing. I told her too. She was amazing. What she smelled like though. I'm just playing. She was oh amazing. my god. Okay, oh god, she, right. so good. she looked so good. <laughs> Toes was done. She was amazing. Like I liked her. I liked the way they came. And Deja too. They was dope. Yeah, we got Deja some was looking good too. Her little yeah, she too. was. That little blue. That little blue was shining bright. Was like, All right, so, we got so, 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 so Bosco. So yeah. would, would you if Crip Mac is down to fight in November? Are you done to do that? Yeah, but see, Crip Mike told Crip Mac told me he want to fight in the alley. He ain't really no boxing type. Man. In the alley, reality game. We'll put a boxing. We'll put a boxing ring in the alley. So look, that's what I'm saying. That's he that said, Kimbo slice in, in the alley on Fifty Fifth Street. He said that. I said, nigga, I'm with that. I think that that's the first ever it had been done, nigga. And I think that shit would be super. Nah, big. I seen that nigga with the box gloves. His shit look worse than milk. Right, so y'all go put a box in my uh, mm-hmm. ring in the alley or just go toe to toes? Like, I put a toe to toes. Fuck that. Box the ring. Toe to toes. So I, that that I mean, that's what he said. He said, man. Yeah. Niggas go bare knuckles, man. Yeah, yeah, nigga. I'm not putting on no gloves in no alley. I mean, I probably throw some brownies on or something. Hey, you know what I mean? Oh, little brownies. You know, the brownies dirt, in the back woman. pocket. Take it back to the brownies um, in the back pocket, nigga. Oh, girl. R.I.P. to Joel, man. The legend. Hey man, make sure real quick. Make sure Joel? y'all following. Hold on, real quick. Make sure wait, y'all wait, following Joel that down? Green Clubhouse. Oh. Up top, man. Make sure y'all following all the moderators. Y'all know Sleepers in LA is really a part of this. Uh, we're gonna be giving y'all footage from the shit that y'all can't see. We're gonna be giving y'all uh feedback of what's going on behind the scenes. Uh, we're gonna do a couple more podcasts. Hopefully, we can get both of them back on there without the niggas trying to beat each other up before the fight. But we're gonna be giving y'all a bunch of exclusive shit though. So make sure y'all stay tuned with Sleepers in LA on our Instagram, our Twitter, our motherfucking clubhouse, all that shit. Yeah, I think we need some. 
But well, we need some sleepless. I think we need some sleepless hoodies or something. Huh? And then, really? have you looked at our Instagram, Bosco? Uh, not lately, not yet. I don't think yeah. I've seen you. We got we got some merch now. We got t shirts. We got but we tumblers. Sure need some hoodies too, though. Yep. We do need hoodies though, even though it's about to be summertime. But yeah, yeah. You know, you niggas know, wear hoodies in the summer. Right? You know, I know. Yeah, you already know. Night time, cause you know Bosco. night time is still get a little windy. Bosco, I think you should work with Sleepless to find an artist to bring you out. Cause they that they're working on. No, 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 no. I find an artist to bring. I just ain't really been. I've been like, you know what I mean? Cause I know it's gonna be so many different. It's so many niggas that been hitting me about the shit, and I don't want to just like. I ain't really been focused on that part of it. I ain't gonna lie, like that's not that part really ain't that important to me. But I, I do got Rick Ross. The real Rick Ross want to come just pull up and support. You should uh, have them niggas from BPS. From, uh, what's the Baby Stone Gorillas come out? You know? Oh, my God. Now, see, I don't want to see the thing. This the thing, too. No, he can't have root. No. no, look, 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 look. This the thing, bro. I'm thinking about the crowds that each that the artist is going to bring at the same time. I'm already thinking about the crowds that are mixing in. And everything, and you know what I mean. Some people don't get along with certain people, oh, so my my the most important thing to me is everyone's safety and putting on a great event. So I don't just want to, you know what I mean. I'm not trying to make it just. Oh yeah, let me bring the the blood rappers. Yeah. I, I don't I don't want it to be like that. I don't want that energy. Like I just want it to be cool. I want to show. I was actually, I was actually just thinking of the irony of it because you remember in a uh, street game yeah. interview with uh, Nina Boy, the nigga Peter exactly. Like, hey, Exactly, but I know how the black stones. You know the black stones is turned up, like you know. Yeah, so you know, you super know, gang bang, no yeah, blackouts and it's all. Just, and you got to think about the crowds that you mixing up together in the building. It's just like, nah, I don't want to bring that kind of energy. They gonna turn into a blood and crib right now. Hard you hard feel me? Mix. And I don't want hard to mix, mix. Man, I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I got a couple homies coming, but that's just you feel me. <laughs> they just they just know what time it is on the business side. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, if you just gotta holler at your homies. That's the type of shit it is. If you got enough respect from your homies and you tell them, nigga, this is about a bag and this is about business, nigga, respect that or get the fuck on. Period. Mm -hmm. And realistically, motherfuckers can see niggas that somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? They ain't gotta be an event. Motherfuckers can see you wherever, especially. Out Bro, niggas know that's how I move, bro. These niggas be talking all the internet shit. Niggas know I'm Bosco already a cool nigga, bro. I don't even be extra out. You know I'm from where I'm from, bro, but I don't be on no extra out shit and I don't got that negative ass energy with me. So you anytime I come. Shit. You can come out to you your own me? music. You feel me? I was thinking about that too. Lil Saudi, me and Lil Saudi had a dope ass song together. It was an old From uh, A Trey? Yeah, he wanted me to. He said something the other night. I think we was on live. I mean, uh, matter of fact, we was on Clubhouse, and he said um, he was telling me like, like, why don't I come out to that song to our song that we did? But I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking about it, but it's not just a major, a number one factor in my head right now. So I ain't tripping. I ain't gonna lie. I'd like to see a little Sody get in the ring with somebody too. Y'all focus is nigga. Yeah, Sody will be with it. Sody will be with it. Shit, line Sody up a squad. I'm sure Sody will be with it. I could get like oh god, Sodi he already told me that he told me already, but I ain't seen Sodi been getting at it. You know what I mean, getting into it with nobody. I would have been had him locked in and like you know what I mean. But yeah, if it was, if it was so family. many politics between them and neighborhood, I'd say C Mac with him see, too. Yeah, but I don't think see, I, this. I'm I'm trying to like I don't want niggas to like. I, I'm just trying to keep the energy of this shit positive too. At the end of the day. see, that's why I, that's why I don't like this nigga Nina because. He really taking the energy and he just keep trying to press speak up, guns up, guns down. And like, that's your shit. Quit trying to like scream my shit. And you ain't even on the positive level like me and guns up was. You want some bitch shit, nigga. You making this shit gang banger. You keep me eating. Yeah, me right, so everything is like, you don't even know how to <laughs> right, be a sportsman. Say you don't even bad. know how to be a sportsman like professional. You come in and say something because man, that's your bitch. Like, I'm not talking to you. Bro. Right, but the ultimate yeah, goal bro. is to promote a positive narrative. All of a sudden, bro. Shut your bitch up. Hold on, hold on. Let him finish. Let him finish. You see how this nigga always try to take my shit and turn Look. Hold on, Skull, let him finish. Skull, you just had you right. just had your chance. Right. Let him talk for All right. All right. All right. All right. So look, catch this game, right? Because I really do promote positivity. I had a little situation because he always popping it. And you know, I dropped the ball, but we're recording, so I gotta keep it business wise, right? Because we do want people to feel safe at this event. Want to assure motherfuckers that come to this event that this is a charitable event for number one, right? Um, we're trying to show the next generation about 
putting down them chopsticks and getting the ring and handle it like men. Like I said, for me, I'm going to continue to stay positive and motivate. Now, you know, for every blue moon, I might get into it with this girl that's on the phone, on, on Sleepless in the Lay with me by the name of Miss Lamb. And, um, you know, I, you know, I, I, I kind of reached a little bit, but I'm assuring everybody that's really getting to know who Nina Boy is. I do promote a positive narrative behind this fight. Um, I'm not just going to be fighting in this event. I'm also trying to pro co-promote and, you know, find new talent to, you know, bring more light to them. So I got a lot of work to do and on the business side and as a as a co-owner in this event. Yes, a co-owner. I want to re retract that statement I made because that's not the image or the outlet that I'm trying to promote because on my YouTube channel, I talk about young cats that's out here putting up them guns and putting them numbers on the scoreboard. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Because I say, if we kill a youth, we have no future. So Sleepless in LA, I want to assure y'all that that was a little quick, little spaz out moment, but that was not actual intent. That wasn't purpose. That wasn't, that wasn't facts. I'm not trying to uh, promote that. And that's why I came back as a man. But uh, I got a lot of work to do. I want to say y'all been dope. Um, it seemed like it's a little bias in here when Bosco get in here because, you know, he's a female. I understand that lady got to speak his mom because he don't have no other job to do. Uh, but at the same time, when it comes to you, me, man. go ahead. Have you ever thought about taking Hold like, on, Will. Hold training? on, Will. Hold on, Will. Real quick. You can ask your question. But no, look, it, it, it ain't even about being biased. Just that you don't like when he keep on. Both of y'all be talking over each other all the time. You just left when y'all was talking over each other. But now we giving you the chance to answer the questions. It's like he just had the chance to answer the question. So all that nigga is Crips, Bloods, nigga, people from everywhere. Like everybody not tripping about all no bias shit. Niggas is just letting both of y'all get y'all shit off. But now right. it's your chance to be able to all answer right. the questions that the people ask you. All right. All right. So good. So, so, so catch this though, right? Because if we pull this off, man, and we're going to pull this off, it should be no excuses why Bloods and Crips can't get in the ring and settle it like men. That's my ultimate goal. That's the, uh, that's the objective of, of what, what I'm definitely trying to push out there on my end so we can accomplish because it hasn't been done on a gangbang level. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about a real Damu, a real Crip in the ring and pull off this. You see what I'm saying? It don't have to stop with me and uh, Miss Lamb over here, over here, uh, Bosco. You know what I'm saying? I'm just calling by his name. Yeah, you got to get down with milk it, next, Nina. You got to get down with milk, blood. That's, that's cool. That's cool, Damu, all that. That's cool. That's small fries to a Big Mac. I'll run it through anybody who wanted with Nina Boy because that's how I get him. But at the end of the day, as a businessman, I have to catch myself like, wait a minute, this is investors. It's people. I want people to feel safe. So that's why I had to retract that statement. And, you know, like I said, we popping it on, on, on Sleepless in L.A. You know what I'm saying? We're on Instagram. We're on every media outlet. I'm, I got to see more Nina Boy. I do carry a lot of hats. But so as a businessman, I don't want anybody to say, wait, that dude can handle good business. Let's work with him. But then that statement come back like, man, you talking about, you know, putting somebody. That's not cool. I wanted to retract that. Um, and, you know, and uh, that's that's what I'm standing on, man. So if y'all got any more questions, let me know. I got I got to all right, Will had a uh, Will had a question, and we can get a few more questions for you, Dipper. Go ahead. Uh, I got two questions for you. So, seeing that you, you're taking to us the business aspect, have you ever thought about taking PR training for this? PR training? That's I'm, I'm no taking. I haven't, I haven't not. But uh, I have mentors that's actually doing this. That's I'm, I'm watching up close, and I'm watching them be successful at what they do. So, yeah, I'm definitely gearing towards that direction. Second part of that question is, have you ever thought about uh, who you're bringing out to the have you walk out? Like, have you thought about bringing out somebody like uh, Newport or Richard Trapper? Well, no, I got Zoe Simon walking me out. All right. And then quick question, too. So for the people who think that that swing that you took on Bosco was a publicity stunt, what would you say? To uh, for number one, everybody entitled to their opinions. Uh man keep man keep the conversation going like i said man um you know i like i have a hot temper you know what i'm saying management investor they like nina like dude you dope at what you do stay focused stay of course i'm working on some things my, y'all gotta understand man when you a street cat man it takes time to adjust and for the roles that i want to obtain and stay in and stand in front of i gotta fix that so you know i'm a work in progress but uh i definitely tried to fire bosco shit up you know what i'm saying um i, I didn't make it in time i seen the, the security turn their head I tried to take a shot. And, and on the business side, that's not cool. For number one, because I don't want to mess up the bag. I don't want to invest and be like, damn, he got a hot head. So overall, man, you know, I'm learning as I grow. But shit, man, I'm an east side apartment baby. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I stepped into some shoes that I'm accomplished and I'm here now. You're so, a work in progress. Yep. I'm dead. Oh, but I, Nina Boy, I was going to say it too, as far as the bias goes, I do find 
that the more you come around and show up, even just after talking to you when we interviewed you that night at the podcast, like, I feel like, you know, it's the, the, you know, fan favorites be swaying back and forth. So keep showing up, show your personality and talking your shit. Oh yeah, for sure, man. If y'all got no questions, shout out to Sleepless in LA. Y'all been awesome. Y'all been dope. Um, once again, I am a businessman outside of this boxing event. So yeah, that's on me. And um, yeah, I'm trying to change the narrative. So appreciate y'all and I'll holler at y'all later. Yeah, it ain't no, it ain't no bias. Should I fuck with both them niggas for real? Should I just ask them questions? <laughs> Can I ask my score a question? Yeah, go ahead, bro. What's the um what's the overall ultimate goal for you? Is it the knockout itself or just winning the match? Like winning the fight itself? Like what's the more ultimate goal for you? Getting the money. <laughs> Nigga, that, that money is <laughs> the That money is the that money is the ultimate goal. <laughs> But I definitely gotta knock that nigga out in the process. The money is the ultimate goal. So, so I got Bosco. kids to feed, man. We got we got family to feed and bills to pay, man. At the end of the day, uh, if I know you, I know you have a couple homegirls who who ready to squabble. Do, do you, if there's a lady undercard, who would you most like to see in the undercard for them? Honestly, me. me. I don't like to see girls <laughs> fight, bro. Honestly, I don't like this girl fight. Everyone, are you, Why? you in LA? I I'm just, not, but I can be. I like oh. girls being sexy. But I don't like watching girls fight. Me personally, that's just me. Why? But why? I just girls don't like fight. to see females fight. I, I know they can, but I'm just a not. Female fight. I'm not into. I'm the nigga that. Uh, she that an actual trained fighter you know though. Mean? No, that's cool. I mean, I'm just saying, like, it's if that's they your wanna, preference, if, that's fine. If it's Evan Eleven is is can set that up and make that happen, shit. I mean, cool. I'm just saying, like, me personally, it's not so. It's not no. It's not a girl fight that I got just picked out in my head. But I mean, if they make it happen, hey, you know. What's up, sleeveless? What's y'all on? What up? What's up? Who that? Who was that? This Mogi, what's happening? Who was that? I said this Mogi. This Mogi, he just saying what's up. Uh, what's up, bro? bro? What's up, dude? What's that? Hey, nigga, Newport in here. Why would they say a free Newport? That nigga went to jail or something? You went to jail, Newport? Hell no, nah, they clipped my page. Uh, uh, man, they clipped cool. me like yeah, six times. I got a quick week. question for Bosco. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey Bosco, if uh say if you lose the fight, are you willing to after you lose shake his hand in the middle of the ring? No, if, if he if he do that, oh god, I, I'm gonna shake a nigga head like I ain't gonna be a bitch because that's a bad sport and that's like some sucking nigga shit. I I gotta tip. I would have to tip my hat to a nigga like God damn nigga, you did that and that's just gonna make me nigga go super duper harder on the rematch shit. Like what? Like bro, like, I respect you know what that. Mean? Respect. I be tripping. That's a, that's a, it's just some sport. You got to be sportsman like nigga. So in the be. so in the situation where that happens, he win, and then you call for a rematch and you win. It's for sure got to be a part three. D- exactly. Damn. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's for sure. Let's go. A part three. Hey, if don't, if, it, don't get if it was to no go ideas. like that, I ain't gonna lie. If it was to go like that, whatever the part three decision gonna be, that's what it's gonna be. I wouldn't let it go past that though. Like just like bro, it's like all right, just let like, I'ma just give it up. It's, you know what I mean? Fuck it. Part three, that would be like some crazy shit. Nigga. A part three, and y'all still ain't settled that shit. Like nigga, that's a yeah. bag, nigga. No, it's the bag, but I'm just saying I would be done after the part three. But like, that, part but, three, then two, like, but then two, but then two. That's bro, only if so it much, ended in like knockouts or something. Though, like it can't just be. Why like, put so much focus into the same person? Yeah, like, no one wants to see somebody fight. You know what I mean? I'm gonna be all right. rounds three. Yeah, three niggas times. trying to see knockouts. If a nigga knock yeah. you out the first, the first fight, then that means you got to knock him out the second fight. You, you knock him out the second fight, y'all got to for sure squabble. So who else you want to fight, Basco? Who else I want to fight? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, like, like, like me, honestly, like, I just, I, I found this fighting shit, even though I, I enjoy it, but I really like see a potential to change my family life. So whatever fight gonna get me the biggest bag 
to where I don't have to fight no more, bro. That'd be that'd be a blessing. That'd be cool. And honestly, I think right now I'm looking. Me, I'm swinging up top, so I'm trying to get to like Jake Paul because he's the biggest fighter in my. You know what I mean? That's the biggest fighter in my. A hey, uh, Bosco. Bro, well, Jake Paul gonna, gonna beat the shit out of you, bro. Hey, look, hey, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, Bosco, you know what's crazy, bro? Like YouTube fighters or celebrity fighters or whatever you want to call it. Like, yeah, cool. hey, hey, Bosco, you know what's crazy about it, though, right? When you really look at it, though, you really the only, like, quote-unquote celeb slash hood nigga that's actually even taking fights in the ring. You do know that, right? There ain't nobody else doing that. Till this nigga now he trying to act like he started. Oh, what I'm really trying to do, my ultimate. You had no ultimate goal, bitch. Like, what are you talking about? Like, your ultimate goal was trolling Bosco until you got some attention. Now you getting the attention you looking for. Now you trying to copy everything you heard me say from the gun from the first fight. Like, bro, get, like, that nigga such a clown, bro. He's the biggest clown, and I promise you, I'm gonna prove it, bro. I I would never let a nigga like you beat me, bro. Why you think he like, got so much animosity for you though? Because I'm everything he want to be. Like, bro, he want to be like me. Look, I, yeah, I started my YouTube. Bro, bro, look at his YouTube page. How many videos? This, I'm talking about before I even started responding to him and all this little fight shit even came about. How many videos this nigga, how many titles in this nigga fucking video library that got Bosco 100 in a title? Uh, Bosco 100 this. You do that to a lot of niggas, though. You might have called Blood Guest Zesty or something, and he had to get out. I didn't, bro. I didn't even know this nigga. I didn't oh, know okay. who he was. He wasn't even on my radar no kind of way, bro. He just started talking shit after me and Gonzo last fight. As soon as me and Gonzo last fight happened, all of a sudden this nigga, I never heard of this nigga, never saw him, never came across one of his videos, nothing. I just, after the Gonzo fight, you know, people, you know, my followers and folks that fuck with me start sending me shit like, oh yeah, who is this nigga Nina boy? And this nigga sending, he's nigga always oh, making videos about you. I start looking, and I'm like, who the fuck is this nigga? And just nothing he was talking about was even nothing. I'm like, oh, this one is spider low partners. So I just never even paid no attention. Like, this nigga's a clown. So then, when the DW Flame situation came about, then I finally started, you know what I mean? Like, like, like once DW Flame pulled out the fight, I just said, fuck it, nigga, I'm finna beat this nigga up since this nigga been talking so much. And now he been getting all the attention that he been wanting from me all this time. That's all this shit about. So the DW Flame nigga didn't want to fight you? Yeah, they, they, they pulled out the fight for whatever reasons. I'm gonna say it again, like, DW Flame... Is the one that brought 1111 Network to me. He wanted to fight initially. I didn't know nothing about a the fight. They brought this fight to me, and then DW Flame pulled out for whatever reason. But is it, um, is it safe to say it was like a numbers thing? It wasn't like you were scared of you or nothing, because the nigga don't seem like you really like you no know, bitch ass nigga or nothing. I don't know what it was. Like, it came, how is it a numbers game? And you brought them to me. Like, so you already had a discussion with them and had to be comfortable with, it, with, with whatever numbers they were throwing at you. Oh, okay. And you me. Like, I didn't, I didn't know 1111 Network. I wasn't having discussions with them about a fight. DW Flame presented them to me. Okay, I see. Yeah, but I mean, I just seen the opportunity. I'm like, hold on, nigga. I was already thinking about that back. So I'm like... I still want to fight, nigga. Hell yeah. I'm like, all right, he pulled out. Like, well, let's get somebody else, nigga. Like, once I seen, like, all right, somebody is paying attention and willing to put up that bag, hell yeah, nigga, let's make this shit happen, nigga. So I got Nina Boy. Like, fuck it, you running your mouth, you get your ass with, nigga. That's cool. So you're going to be able to match his intensity, though, because you know he, he seemed like he a little bit more mad at you. Yeah, I, I want to see, I, bro, honestly, I just want to see how mad he's going to be in this ring. Uh, you, know, you can be all this mad on the internet and all these videos and be mad in front of security. I want to see how you can be mad when that bell ring and that referee back up out the way. We're going to see how mad you really is. Yeah, and that see. shit could be a detriment to you, too. Be too mad in the fight, end up get hitting your shit because you up here trying to get your shit off. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. I want to see how mad you is in this ring. Yeah, motherfucker got to be composed in them fights, boy. <laughs> you don't know. Like, bro, he ain't had no fights. He ain't been there yet. 
he gonna feel it, bro. You gotta feel it. Like you ain't you ain't champion spirit, you ain't champion spirited enough to go in here and knock me out your first time in the ring. Like, bro, come on, bro. He's like, I'm gonna knock this knee out. I'm gonna like, bro, why are you so confident and you've never been in the ring, bro? Like, come on, nigga. I know you think like you think it you ain't even beat nobody up on the street though. Like nigga, I ran your C file, my nigga. You ain't no nigga like that out here, nigga. Your shit comes back inconclusive and you know what I mean niggas know you but you ain't never did shit like that like nothing major on the black tie what's your C file about? like your squabs in the county you say who what's what's your C file like the uh your squabs in the county or something <laughs> Crip, like, so you know what I mean? Just like, like when you run a nigga background on his crib and like, you know what I mean? Your C file, oh, okay, like, just, okay. you know what I mean? What niggas know about your crib and then your, your life on the blacktop, basically. Like, you know I mean? Or me, it'd be my B5 if he ran my B5, but you can't, like, I guarantee you, your shit ain't looking like one of your stats ain't looking like my stats, bro. I'm telling you, I don't know. That's why I don't even know what you be talking about, but I don't even push that. So that's why I don't like to even highlight or go into that because that's not even what I be talking about. I don't talk about that type of shit. Like, I just make it We be trying to laugh and have a good time. Like, you niggas worried about, you know what I mean? Niggas want to be focused on the game banging. I don't focus on game banging and niggas game banging record. I just focus on what the fuck these niggas is putting out to the public and the culture. That's it, bro. From your last fight to this one, was you able to identify your weaknesses in your first match and strengthen them for this fight? Yeah, definitely. I'm still working on strengthening them. Like, the one thing, my one weakness, my most important weakness in the last fight was that cardio. And I, I really felt that. Like, like that was the... Because, like, it wasn't even the fact that... It wasn't the technique or my footwork that failed me. It was just where I really felt like my weakness was at within myself was that cardio because I knew I was getting winded and getting tired. Just thankfully, Gonzo wasn't a, a powerful enough hitter or a skilled enough fighter to really, you know what I mean, to knock me out. But And I was able to go the distance and make it through the fight. But had it been somebody more, more skilled and more, you know what I mean, in better shape, they would have did it. Like, yeah, I could have got my ass whooped. And I see where I could have got my ass whooped. Yeah, and Gonzo was actually in pretty good shape. It looked like. Yeah, he was in good shape, but his cardio wasn't in, in the best shape. Like, you wasn't, nigga, you smoke weed. Skinny out of shape, nigga. nigga. Yeah, you smoke weed and you're not actually, like, you're not in, you're not fat or out of shape, but you smoke weed all day and you don't exercise regularly. So that's the thing. So you're going to be, you can't just jump in the ring and you don't, you smoke and don't exercise regularly and try to do some at the line shit. Like, you know what I mean? Some old, you know what I mean? Some athletic shit. Like, you can't just go in there and expect to look like Mike Tyson, nigga, and you were just smoking and drinking last night, like, type shit. And that's how that fight was, nigga. We was just smoking and drinking the night before, and the day before. Like, uh, like, you know what I mean? We didn't take it as serious as real fighters take it because we wasn't real boxers per se, you know what I mean? But now at this point, my second fight, now I'm really a boxer, like, you know what I mean? So now I'm taking it more serious. I know how serious I need to take it now. Yeah, yeah that shit fucked you up after that nigga died though. Huh? Yeah, that shit was fucked up because we had a lot of shit we was talking about. It was supposed to make a lot of business moves. Like, you know what I mean? We made a lot of money together. This nigga keeps saying we didn't get paid a hundred thousand. Like he knows me. Like y'all didn't make a hundred. Y'all got paid thirty. What are you talking about, nigga? I spent. I went twenty the next day. Just at the Harley store, nigga. How did you get paid? <laughs> nigga. You think you could do some business with Nina Boy after a fight? Other than just like you know boxing shit, y'all could link up and do like some blog type shit. Or you think you ain't fucking with him for? I think we could look up. We go link. I mean, after the fight, we sure gonna link up and get his ass. We could link up for another fight. Like we gonna link up and yeah, that's gonna be some more business. We gonna link up for another fight and whoop y'all ass again, nigga. I mean, I'm saying it's still a business venture. Another fight. We business partners at this sense. You just an irate partner, nigga. You just an irate partner, is brazy. <laughs> He ain't no businessman. He ain't no professional. Like all he does is get on the internet and try to copy everything he heard me say before, bro. 
every time, look how he came back. Like, all he did was try to come back and reword everything I just said. Like, bro, get the fuck out of here, bro. That nigga's a clown, bro. That's why I'm finna whoop. Bro, I'm telling you, I'm finna whoop this nigga. I ain't gonna lie, Scott. I've been watching you for some years, homie, and in my head, like, every time I watch your shit and you be talking to niggas, I'm like, this nigga Skull gotta have some hands because that nigga be talking bad about niggas. You feel me? I don't even talk bad about niggas like that, though. Like, we just talk about the shit that they put on the internet. Nah, but you know them funny niggas gotta know how to fight me. You can't just be roasting yeah, on niggas. Exactly. Like, you know what I mean? You gotta know. Like, bro, I've been squabbling my whole life. Bro, you know what I mean? Broken bones I got. Like, that's what I'm saying. I just, that's not what I'm trying. I'm not trying to push that I'm the best fighter or I beat so many niggas up and all. You know what I mean? Other people always bring that up. But you'll take so, your fade. You know what I mean? So it's like, it's like, bro, like, they always want to make that the narrative. That's not the narrative that I be even pushing. I don't even be worried about fighting. It's just, I say the shit that make niggas want to fight me. But I already heard a long time ago, when everybody fight, when everybody want to fight you, you must be important. Mm -hmm. Gunner, I see you had a lot to say um, in the comments. You got you. I definitely got a lot to say. I just don't understand how he basing everything around what Young Nine got to say when he has a lot to say, and all he doing is responding to what this nigga got to say. And of course, the head was swung in the middle of a crowd. It's what's supposed to go on at a fucking press conference. But at the same time, if he wanted to connect with Cuz, he could have got connected with Cuz. The times y'all kept getting him off the stage over and over and over says a lot and don't nobody care about how many is eleven and don't nobody care about how many niggas he dealt with at the last conference. What he put with this conference what he put with at the fight. Nobody cares about his past is the fight. You're so, in the water. You only you have a you have a lot to uh what you want a speedboat? <laughs> I'm not I'm at work. What you doing? No, nah, we couldn't hear I'm you. I'm having Dude, a press conference. Word. I'm doing oh, media okay. for my... Oh, okay. <laughs> I just don't feel that. I just don't see why he feel like he just got this. I don't. I don't. I mean, shit, ain't he supposed to, to know, like... He a yeah, man. everybody's He's supposed, supposed to. to feel like they... They gonna win. Just, like, what is she Nina boy been about? saying, I'm gonna beat cuz up the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, he has, but in a about? setting where everybody hears and see it, this nigga goes, says something, and then goes somewhere else, says something, and then moves. So it's, it's how he moves. Talking, this nigga talking, moves talking, funny. Talking. Of course, yeah, you're I not going to acknowledge what I'm talking Anita about. Boy, because these Anita other boy, clowns sorry. on the stage is not from your section. It's not from the streets. So we really know you. I'm really from the streets, though. 